Getting a puncture is something that happens to all of us at some point or another as cyclists. It's one of those annoying things, especially in the winter months when it's cold and wet and you don't want to be stood on the side of the road. However, it's more likely that you're going to get a puncture in those winter months because there's more debris, flints and thorns on the road. So it's worth knowing how to fix it properly, repair it. And that's exactly what we're going to show you how to do in this video. Now, if you've hit a big pothole and your tire's just gone down immediately, the likelihood is that you've got a pinch puncture, which is simply where the tire's gone against the rim and put two holes into the inner tube. And you'll be able to see this when you pump the inner tube up after you've taken it out because they'll have two very small holes in it. However, if like this one, it's gone down gradually, there's likely to be another cause. So first things first, take out the wheel that's punctured. The most important thing when you're repairing a puncture, whether you're out or whether you're at home, is to make sure that there's nothing inside the tyre that might have caused it in the first place. And bear in mind that if it's something that's gone through the tyre, a piece of glass, a thorn or even some grit, if it's sharp enough to protrude through the tyre, it's probably sharp enough to go through your skin as well. So just be careful as you gently take your hand or fingers around the inside of the tyre and check it. Don't do it very quickly and hard because it's likely you'll get cut in your hands, but make sure you go around the whole tyre at least once. I'm going to try and find out exactly what's caused this puncture. Now, once you've found what's caused the puncture, you of course need to take it out. If there's something protruding at the top of the tyre, or if you want to fold it over and try and pick the bit of grit out, then do it that way. If, however, you can't access it from the outside of the tyre, don't try pushing it through your fingers. You need to take something else so that you don't cut yourself again. So find your tyre lever and use the flat end part of it and hopefully we can just gently push it back through without breaking it. There you go, so it's gone most of the way through now. I think I can pull it out the other side. There we go. Small little thorn. That's why it's gone down slowly and not straight away. This is the point where taking out the correct spares really comes into play. Now we've already got a video out where we recommend exactly what we think you should take out of you on each and every ride. But first and foremost, that is a couple of spare inner tubes just to make things quicker when you're out on a train ride. If you happen to have got through both of them, you have particularly bad luck. And the next thing is these. These ones are called scab. You can get other makes as well, but basically they are self-adhesive patches, again, speeding up the process compared to this last thing, which is a puncture repair kit. Again, we've got another video detailing how to put patches on with glue, etc. But for me, this is normally a last resort. If you do happen to be in that horrible situation where you have run out of spare inner tubes, but you've got those patches, and of course, first of all, you're going to need to locate exactly where the hole is. Now, unlike our other video, we haven't got the luxury of a sink to dip the inner tube into to find out where the bubbles are coming out. But because this has gone down over the space of the ride relatively quickly, once we pump it up, we should have a hole big enough where we can hear where the hole is. So we'll do that now. So take this pump, which of course, you brought out on your training ride with you. Okay, so once you've found the offending hole which is leaking the air out of your inner tube, you need to take your patches, which normally come with a very small piece of sandpaper. This does a couple of things. Firstly, roughens up the surface. It also takes off some of the shine as well. Just means that the patch is more likely to stick on permanently and get you back home. And all you need to do is put it on like a sticker. Try not to touch it with your fingers too closely to the middle. Again, the grease of your fingers might stop it from sticking too well. Try and rub it down as much as possible, especially on the edges. And from the inside outwards. I've pumped up a fair bit now and it doesn't seem like there's any air coming out of it, so we should be good to go and put that inner tube back in. So you can take your repaired inner tube or your new inner tube, locate the valve hole on the inside of the rim. If you put the valve through. Now I've left this inflated from when I pumped it up to test this patch around here. And that's quite a good thing because when you put the inner tube in, you do want it to be slightly inflated because that reduces the chance of the inner tube 
becoming wedged underneath the bead of the tyre and getting a pinch puncture as soon as you pump it up. All done. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. If this ever happens to you on a ride, there's one thing that you're definitely going to need if you want to get home without calling for assistance.